in this video, I'll assure you that you will get something. It is very, very informative. And if at all you have never made any profit, 2024 is your year to be profitable, to make profit. And these are very easy strategy. And the strategy that I will be talking about is when you find one pattern on one time frame. We call it OPT strategy. So OPT strategy is very easy. But by the time you're getting to OPT, there's no way you can say, oh, I'm looking for OPT. You'll be doing your normal analysis, going for monthly, weekly, daily, and then for hour, and then at the end of the day, you'll be looking for OPT. So what I mean by OPT is, uh, if it's a double top, you find it on one time frame. If it's a double bottom or on one time frame. So let's start from monthly. So this is our monthly chart. So when I open this monthly chart and I try to analyze this chart, nothing much I'm seeing here. Um, I'm seeing a channel. Like I can say this market is on a channel because this support area has been tested so many times. This resistance area has been tested uh, so many times. If I try to check the momentum candle that we have, it's a bullish momentum candle. And anytime you just hear bullish momentum candle, you know buyers are in control. Yes, it's on a channel, but at least buyers are in control. But again, if you check the trend from, from the months that have been previously uh, the price that has been there previously, it is on a sale. So you, you tend not to understand what the market really wants. Again, if you scale down to the current market, you can find out that we have a small ranging channel. So that, that alone is telling you that on the monthly time frame, there's nothing you can, you cannot say it's a buy or sell. There is no way you can say, oh, this market is a sell. Oh, this is a buy. On the monthly, you don't have any clue what this market wants to do. So let's go to the weekly time frame. When you go to the weekly time frame, what is happening? We have this pattern. This is a double top. So once you have this pattern, a double top, it is very, very easy for you to, um, to, to start analyzing why. Whenever me, I have a double top or a double bottom, it gives me confidence because I already know the rules. I know the do's and the don'ts. I know the take profit targets, the entry, the exit. That's, that's the reason why I love double tops and double bottoms. So having this double top, I just need the market to break this green line for me to enter a sale. So I cannot sell according to this structure. I cannot sell because the green line has not been broken. But again, I'm not ignorant of this double top can give me a cap and handle. And I keep saying that, guys, whenever you have a double top, it, yes, it can give you a complete double top, like that, or it can give you what? A complete cap and handle, like it can give you a cap and handle. So I'm not ignorant again, waiting all oh, for the sell, sell, sell. No, I'll be looking for the lower time frame as I wait for the candle to close. For those five days, I'll be waiting for the market to break the green line. I'll be looking for buy opportunities because if at all market can just start to buy and break that area, what do you think I have? I will have an invert, a, a cap and handle. So at the end of the day, yes, Weekly time frame, it's giving me five days to wait for the sale, but nobody who has said I cannot buy. So I come to daily time frame, and you see on the daily time frame, there's still the same double top. So I'm not interested with this double top because I will be looking for the market uh, on this double top. I'm not even interested to sell because there's no way I can say the market has not even activated. Can you see? We don't have the activation. So even if I get this WBB, and you see this WBB, I don't have a confirmation of sale because even we don't have a double top. So when I go to weekly time frame, I have to wait for the for another five days for it to break half because daily there is nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. I don't have a pattern. So when daily there is nothing I can do and I don't have a pattern, and for five days, the market is saying, I just wait. Like, I just be 
be still and wait for whichever direction the market will give me. I happen to go to four hour and this is where magic guys goes. Why happens? Why? Because monthly I didn't have a pattern. Weekly I had a pattern, but there's a condition. If I need to trade on this weekly, I have to wait. Now I go to daily, daily there is no pattern. I don't have a double bottom. I don't have a double top. Where the market is, there's no kind of like a support area. Yes, the market is dropping, but I even don't know why it is dropping. Okay. And then I go to the four hour time frame. And this is where magic happens, guys. When I open my four hour time frames, I can understand that where the market is currently, it is exactly at a support zone. And this is what we call OPT. The OPT strategy is very, 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 very strong. Why? Because whenever you have a double bottom on only one time frame, it is magic, guys. This is something that you should you should um put all your efforts in. So the minute you find that double bottom, delete everything from your chart, let your chart be clean and start again. So I have this double bottom. That's my double bottom. I have this is my neckline. And then I have this as my half. So basically, someone who is trading a double bottom that is on multiple time frame, and me who is trading this double bottom on only on four hour, my chances of making it on this double bottom are higher than someone who is trading the same double bottom, which is appearing on multiple time frames. Like this four hour, maybe a double bottom on four hour, daily, weekly, monthly, it is very, very weak. But a double bottom that is only on Wow. So I know many people don't understand when I say a double bottom only on one time frame. I want you to understand the first attempt we have a support, red followed by green. But if I go to the daily time frame, we do not have a red. We have green, 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 not giving us any support. So on the daily, we do not have a support area. But on four hour, we have a support area. That's what we say a double bottom on only one time frame. So guys, you already know that when you want to enter double bottom using four hour, we use CRB strategy. CRB strategy means current resistance break. So we wait for a resistance to be created. And how does a resistance be created? A resistance is when a green candle, resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle that's how resistance is created so guys if at all you want to see resistance here we yes we have a green candle but we need another red candle so we have another green we have another green so the minute we have that small red candle we have a resistance you come and place your resistance there again so if not if the market breaks this uh, area, the double bottom, it has violated our double bottom, will come and try to work with the second one. So don't be tired of checking. If one is broken, you have to jump and use the other one. Next. So you can see the market has not yet broken that area. Next. So the market is not yet breaking, and then we get a green candle. So note if a red candle appears, we have another resistance created. And you can see you push your resistance to this level. You have your new resistance created. You can see the many attempts of breaking this support. And that's why I tell people, don't be in a rush to enter this trade. And at the end of the day, the resistance has been uh, broken. So guys, this is how resistance is broken because it's two green candles following each other. So we cannot we cannot um, adjust. So imagine now knowing that you can trade. Imagine this is your first trade in 2024, and you have seen a double bottom on four hour, and you're very confident that the market will hit your take profit like that. And now your work is to wait. So you wait, you wait, you wait, you wait. So you're waiting for the market to give to activate that double, uh, to activate the take profit. For me, if I was around here and this ranging starts, I can just exit with how many pips? For me, I can be exiting. It's like more than a hundred pips. When you find that there's so much ranging and it's small distance to the take profit, just exit. 
But let's see after the ranging, after the ranging, what happened? The market broke even our half. So you can still come again. So imagine that's how many pips? That's 148 pips. And then again, to the neckline, how much is this to the neckline? 102 pips. And then the neckline is activated. You can see how easy that trade was. This double bottom was easy because it was only on one time frame. I cannot persist, I emphasize enough. If you want to make money, OPT is your way to go. Comment down below, let me know if you will practice OPT. So because the neckline has been broken, we are about to go to that level. Uh, and the most guaranteed profit after neckline is broken is our, is our half, like that. That is our guaranteed, our half. So once half is, once neckline is broken, guys, remember what I told you, the candle that breaks a resistance, if you want to come and start your, your trade, your first trade should be that level, that it should be a buy order. Avoid buying immediately here. That one, avoid completely. The second sell order should be where a double bottom can confirm. So we have our first attempt here. So we are, we, the market, I'm telling you, the market can retrace back to that area. So it's not a joke. And then the next one is using CRB. So CRB is when uh, buyers take back control. So we are hoping that the market will retrace and activate all those points. So the first point they will activate is that one. The second point is they continue selling and the third one wait for CRB. So after the neckline is broken, so you can see the first trade has been activated. And then now we wait for the second trade if it will be activated as we wait for, for resistance. Guys, can you see our resistance is created? This is what you are saying. The third one, how you enter with retracement is CRB. CRB is when a green candle is followed by red. So if I have like that, and now I can wait either the CRB to be broken. I already notice that we already have a trade around here. So we are already in profit, like how many pips? 38 pips. So we are waiting for that CRB to break and the market uh, goes back to our sell order, uh, our buy order, goes back to our buy order and again CRB is activated. So in short, the trade that was never activated was the one of the double bottom. So what we do, we enter a new trade. So we have two trades and the take profit guys should be where? The half of the double bottom. And that's how you trade. That is the easiest way you trade your chart. So first four hours, the second, in the market, you just be patient and the market does what? The market does what? The market hit our take profit. Once our take profit is hit, guys, to continue to the TP4 is upon, if you will, be able to know how the market is operating. So don't, don't say it is a must. TP4, it's not always a must. So we have started TP1 is our half, TP2 is our neckline, TP3 is a half of the distance. That is what I wanted to show you guys. This is the easiest strategy that you can ever get. The reason for this strategy is because the double bottom, if you were on this daily time frame, there was nowhere that we didn't have a double bottom. If again, I flip on the weekly, if we trusted weekly time frame to break the double top, even if we would not have entered this trade. That's why at the end of the day, four hour is our is our friend, four hour is our time frame. And at the end of the day, if you are if you if you are a beginner and you're starting to trade, I would highly suggest you master four hour OPT, either double tops, double bottom, anything that you find. On, on anything that you find on four hour, try to memorize it, try to adapt to it, try to practice it because four hour has a lot of money and, and, and four hour is that time frame that you cannot bypass. As much as weekly, monthly and daily are important, I think four hour overall is the best time frame for a day trader because every single day you can get some trades. 
If you use weekly and daily, there are some days you won't have opportunity to trade in the market. So guys, this is your trade. Make sure you watch this video and repeat it and see how did I find the double bottom. I started from the monthly time frame. There's no way I just guessed and said, oh, I will have a double bottom. No, I just started from the monthly coming all the way until I found the OPT on four hours. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Love you so much. Bye-bye. See you.